Many individuals think that winning the lottery will grant their wishes and end all of their difficulties. But for other lottery winners, the truth is very different. Even though they were fortunate enough to win significant lottery payouts, they then wished they had shredded their ticket up rather than redeeming it. Wishing you hadn't gained millions of dollars could seem inconceivable. But because it occurs frequently enough, the phenomenon is known as the lottery curse. You don't think so? Here are five lottery victims who experienced bankruptcy, divorce, or even death when their fortunate victory went bad. Watch this video till the end to know the tips on how to manage the responsibility of a jackpot and make the most benefit of your winnings. Before we start, please make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. Number 5. Jack Whitaker Jack Whitaker once said, From the time I've won the lottery, there has been no control over my greed. Andrew Jack Whitaker was already affluent when he won the greatest payout ever given to a single Powerball winner, unlike many other winners. On Christmas daytime in 2002, he won the jackpot. He opted for a lump sum payment over an annuity, and as a result, he took with him $113 million out of his $314.9 million lottery ticket. The money Jack Whitaker won was put to a lot of good use. The lottery curse nevertheless struck him. Since Jack Whitaker's victory was extensively publicized, not all states allow winners to remain unknown. He was inundated with requests for cash and favors. He was renowned for frequently leaving substantial sums of cash in his car. Someone stole roughly $500,000 from his car one evening while he was on his way to a strip club. Later, $100,000 was lost from another car in a different incident. His company was subjected to pointless lawsuits by individuals attempting to gain access to his huge funds, which made him spend millions on legal bills and made the situation worse. Whitaker started to break down under the pressure. He began to binge drink and initiate fights. He married his wife, whom he had been with from the age of 14. However, that's hardly the worst of it. His granddaughter Brandy was discovered deceased in mysterious circumstances a year later. Never was the matter resolved. More than six years after he claimed the jackpot, Brandy's mother was discovered dead. Whitaker's wife filed for divorce. Whitaker attributes his fortunate windfall to the loss of his loved ones and the winnings. Number 4. Curtis Sharp, Lottery's $5 million Man As he would spread the news about the ticket, Curtis Sharp Jr., who was the winner of a $5 million jackpot, was a miracle turning into reality for the Lottery's public relations team. Sharp, who worked as a dishwasher before becoming wealthy, earned the moniker $5 million man. He was a walking billboard for the lottery because of his flamboyant demeanor, unusual bowler hat, and passion for flaunting his prize money. Sharp's way of life was regrettably unsustainable. The lottery omen had come true. He got separated from his wife for another woman and got married lavishly the year after winning the lotto. His second wife also divorced him five years later. He was chugging heavily and when the funds ran out, he was forced to borrow cash from his first wife. Number 3. William Post III William Post III says that no one notices the nightmares. Would you purchase a lottery ticket if you were left with less than $3 in your bank account? That's not a good idea, but Bud, as Bud Post III was known to his pals, went one step farther. He pawned an item for his assets for $40, and then he bought lottery tickets with the whole sum. Despite being foolish, his wager was successful. He won $16.2 million in the Pennsylvania lottery with one of those tickets. Unfortunately, Post's life quickly deteriorated after cashing in his prize. He said that everyone wishes to win money, but most people don't think about the nightmares that enter from the woodwork or the difficulties. The Post blew all his money. The first annual installment of his earnings, which totaled more than $400,000, was largely spent by him in just two weeks. He owed half a million dollars after a year. His lover sued him, saying that they had made a deal to split the proceeds if he won. His lottery winnings were blocked when she won her legal case because he was unable to make payments. He had to file for bankruptcy, and the only money he was able to save was roughly $2.6 million, which he squandered right away. After using a shotgun on a person who was nagging him for money, he was detained for assault. Worse even, in order to inherit the money, his brother hired a killer to assassinate him and his wife. The sixth wife was the subject of the current post. This victim of the lottery curse passed away alone and impoverished 13 years later. 
he had been surviving on assistance payments. Number 2. Lottery winner Abraham Shakespeare Murdered for his wealth Abraham Shakespeare was extremely giving with his money after achieving $40 million from the Florida Lottery in 2006. He contributed money to almost everyone who asked, but his generosity didn't protect him from the lottery curse. His problems began nearly right away. Shakespeare was sued in court by a co-worker who claimed that he had stolen his lottery tickets and jackpot. Shakespeare prevailed in the lawsuit, but his problems continued. Shakespeare said that he would have been better off broke. He thought all these individuals were his friends, but then he came to know that all they were after was simply money. This is because so many people were asking him for money. He later ran across Dee Dee Moore, who claimed she was interested in writing about his experiences. She added that she would aid in handling his finances. He agreed, and she started using it right away herself. Even his house was seized by her. At her boyfriend's home, she murdered Shakespeare and hid his body beneath concrete slabs. When Shakespeare purchased his winning lottery ticket, he would have been better happy with the $5 he had with him. Number 1. Billy Bob Harold Jr. Committed suicide after only two years of winning $30 million. After failing in his attempt to become a minister, Billy Bob Harold Jr. entered into difficult times. It seems he had finally found a method to feed his family and put his financial difficulties behind him when he gained $31 million from the jackpot. He donated his profits to the church, his family, and less fortunate parishioners. However, the solicitations for money persisted. His family was put under stress by his poor investments and the incessant need for more from strangers. Other members of the family were at odds with each other, and his marriage had terminated. He said that being the winner of the lottery was the worst thing that had ever happened to him. Billy Bob Harold Jr. had enough on the day he was supposed to have dinner with his ex-wife. He killed himself by placing a gun in his stomach and pressing the trigger. Less than 24 months after his incredible lottery win, he passed away. Remember that the media adores a riches to rags tale, even though these jackpot curse stories look like getting money is a problem that will come to you. More great winners behave responsibly with their money and enjoy their gaining than believe they're cursed by fortune. Don Cruz is occasionally mentioned in news headlines as a great winner who lost everything, but he enjoyed himself immensely and holds the memories close to his heart. It happens more frequently than you might imagine losing a sizable fortune. Whether it's a win in the lottery or an unexpected inheritance, 70% of people who acquire big sums of money out of the blue lose it within a few years. You will not be one of them, which is wonderful news. Here are some pointers on how to win with joy. 1. Keep your jackpot win a secret as much as possible. More the people become aware of your jackpot, the more stress you'll go through. Two. Do not give up on your daily hard work. One of the biggest bad choices a jackpot winner can make is to begin making decisions when they're overwhelmed by the prize. 3. Consult an advisor for your finance. 4. Make a budget. 5. Take out time for your dear ones. And with this, we come to the end of this video. Like and share it with your friends. Let us know your thoughts about our topic in the comments below. Thank you.